Hello everybody. I'm going to show you uh, a tutorial to explain you how genuinely works and especially uh, when we talk about escape games. So I created uh, this morning two escape games. I'm going to show you first um, the final product to make you see what's going on. So let's click on the game and let's preview, make a preview. So this is the background of our escape game, the main room. In this room, we have to move the mouse and to find the, some hidden zones, okay? So for example, here you can see a hidden zone because the mouse is changing. Uh, you can see a hidden zone here, another one here, another one here, another one the fireplace and so on. So when you click on the different zones, you get uh, some uh, actions. For example, here you find cards on the table. And if you move your mouse on the picture, you can click somewhere. And then you have an interactive uh, dialogue, which, which card is it, for example, if you move your mouse here which card is it as well so we have uh, several zones actually there are four in this picture uh, leading to a question then we go to the main room again so uh, we have to find the cards in this game so to help us we have to find clues for example if you click here in the library we can find a book you can take this book so we should click on this and we get a picture with many, many cards. So it may help us to find the different uh, cards of the game. Then back to the main room. And then we probably find something on the fireplace here. This is documents have burnt and we, we don't know what to do with that for the moment. So let's go back to the main room, trying to find new uh, hints, new clues. So you have uh, here something to so click on it and you have a message you can see on the statue the writing what to okay so let's keep this in mind then uh, probably something else here you can see on the base writing line 10 oh okay so let's go back to my hidden document in the fireplace and then let's try to to count the line 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and the word number 2 oh this one number 2 is interactive so let's click on it and you have a short message this word means decreasing order okay so if i uh, try to think a bit we have a, a card game cards game here and we have to find four cards so four numbers and we will have probably to sort them in a decreasing order to get something like a code okay so this is the presentation of the escape games this is a part one Hello, so let's start the part two, uh, in which I'm going to explain you how to create a genially. So you just have to click on the plus to get a new one. Um, but for, for the presentation, I have already created um, a copy uh, of my escape game. So let's click on this. Okay, so as you can see, we have a menu on the left. We have the pages. If you click here on pages, we have all the pages we have already created uh, here in this uh, columns, column. So, first of all, we're going to add 
several pages. Let's create as many pages as we would need for this escape game. So click on the blank page and then you can create another page. And the pages will be more or less linked with the clues that you're going to find in the in the main room. Okay, if you have four hands, probably you would need four pages. So first of all, create as many pages as possible. So I'm going to create four pages for this game, but we can add more if needed, of course. For the moment, four pages. And so this is the first button uh, you have to click on to start to create pages. Then the second button, which is very interesting is interactive elements. And as you can see on the main picture, you can see three purple areas. It is called invisible areas. So when you click on it, you can make the areas under the rectangles interactive. So for example, if I want to make this statue at the top left of the room interactive, let me just create a rectangle. If I want to create another interactive zone, here on the two bases, I can create a rectangle here. We can modify the size of the rectangle as we want. And I'm going to show you how to create, how to program this interactive area. So if you click on this bat on this uh, rectangle, you can see a, 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 a white button which gives us the, the opportunity to choose between four possibilities. The main ones we're going to use are window and go to page. Window, just open a window. When you click on this zone and go to page, it's going to redirect you to a new page when you click on the zone, okay? So for example, uh, we are going to program this zone first. So we are going to see what can be on the table. So let's click on this button, go to pages, do to page. Let's choose the first page and we're going back to page menu and then we're going to program What's, what can be on this zone. So image and probably on uh, table you can find a deck of cards so upload a picture of a deck of cards either from internet or from your computer and just by clicking on it you can insert it on the page you can modify its dimensions as usual you can also choose the background of your canvas. Canvas is a white rectangle, whereas base is the background, the real background. Um, so let's find a texture we could fit, which could fit, for example, this green uh, texture. And then you, we can also add a text. We're going to modify the color into white. And the text could be you find on the table this deck of cards. Okay, so move this to the right. Okay. If it's too big, you can modify, you can resize, of course, to make it fit to the rectangle. You find on the table, the deck of cards. Okay, very good. So now we are going to use interactive element area and we are going to create new interactive area. For example, on this card, on this diamond card, also on this club card 
could be useful to know what it is. One more. On this hidden card, we would like the player to find which card it could be. And an easier one on the Nine of Hearts. Very good. Okay, so let's program one question. For example, when you click on this card, a question, which card is it? Which card is it? And you can copy paste and you can program the three, these three other interactive arrays this way. Uh, let's create a button with text because each time you create a new page, please program a back button which redirects you to the, the main room. Okay, now let's go back to the pages button. And you can see the main room and what we can find on the table. Uh, now we're going to uh, program this area, for example, just with a window saying written here, like line 10. Okay. In the same same way we can set this part up with the button window and with the question written here uh, word 2 for example okay very nice okay now let's we can program other zones using the same way if you understand correctly if we preview the what we have already done We will start with the main room and here you know the if, if you can see that the mouse is changing here as well here as well just click on it we have the message and if we click on the table we can see the deck of cards with interactive zones with a question and if you click on the back button you go back to the main room okay so you can modify all the different zones left using the same ID. And please pay attention to the settings of your genially. Um, if you click on page, uh, if you, sorry, if you uh, pay attention to the settings, you have to disable the interactivity indicator okay very important and you have a navigation mode okay so you you have uh, options here settings you can find right and you have to set to turn the navigation mode into microsite in order to make the rows of navigation disappear. So once done, you can uh, save your document and you can preview it by clicking the eye and you can add collaborators if needed and then you can publish your, uh, your genially, your escape game, of course. Well, I hope this uh, would help to create yours. Uh, don't try to be too complicated. The main idea is to make things clear. And you can also imagine a secret passage leading to another room. Okay, this could be uh, possible. You have a main room. You can interact with the object of this room like I, I did just before. But you can also imagine a secret passage and the creation of a new room in which you can also find new interactive areas, new clues and stuff. Okay, so enjoy and be brave. <laughs>